Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper for Creations and I have a new project to share. Uh, I had to make one more Eiffel Tower, it was so fun to make. So this time I've made it a bit different and I used the paper to cover up the tower. And I used uh, this paper from uh, Graphic 45 and it's a curtain call. I really love this paper, so many beautiful images. So. I didn't have much left, so I had to use the scraps and what I had, so I puzzled it together. So I also used the flowers from I Am Roses, and uh, this dry uh, spray uh, is very great to uh, build up flowers with, and it's SP2 uh, uh, and it comes to in a package. So I really love using these. Also used um, stickles on the flowers, and it's uh, the distress uh, rock candy stickles. And I use Lindy spray, and I used uh, opal sea coats. I think it says. See it here. And I use uh, cactus gold. This I use all the time. I really love this one. It, uh, just get, give a gold shimmer and uh, I used uh, this black golden lump o coal hope it's focusing here and uh, also my all time favorite gossamer gold this one I really love love this one so um now I will flip the tower a bit around so you can see it all and then I will take my camera up. It's more easy to film then. So here is one of the sides and I will just turn it around a bit so you can see here. And if you see here it's a little light bowl inside and a clock hanging down here. And yeah, you can also now guess uh, I have uh, Put two uh, mini albums inside here, so now you can guess where they are. So um, this is one of the sides, and the last side here. So now I will uh, flip my camera up a bit and uh, show you some more details. So now I will give you a close-up look here, and we can start uh, with this uh, side here. So it's a bit hard to film when it's uh, long things to film. But uh, in the top here I have some feathers and some tool and uh, some skeleton leaves from I'm Roses. And I made a little stick pin. And the top here I got from Fiona, so thank you so much Fiona. And I put a little of these tickets here, that is a uh, crackle accent, and that says the plus. And uh, if you see here, it's a lot of uh, Prima pearls here on this uh, Eiffel Tower around all the way. And here is a um, sort of a cameo, and a lot of uh, uh, I'm Rose's flowers here. So try to hold it like so, so you can see it. And a uh, skeleton leaf behind, and here is a little leaf that I got from Linda. So thank you so much, Linda. I used a lot of these uh, leaves here uh, on this project. And uh, here are some uh, pearls that I, uh, or pearl st uh, strip that I, or blink maybe, from Annie's uh, blog shop. And I uh, really love this one. So. And uh, uh, under here it's uh, just a lace and I used um, vintage photo on it and also cactus gold spray. And that I did for the other lace below here as well. There it shows. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and some pleated uh, black trim below here, under. And here is uh, the spray I showed. And a lot of uh, flowers going down here, and leaves, and yeah, and a little ticket here. And this uh, image I cut out from the paper. And uh, this is a uh, clear embossed. 
and this um, bling here I got from Kala's blog shop. So I really love this bling also. And some more Prima bling behind here, if you can see. Yeah, so I can turn it around. And this clock here I got from uh, Lindy's and I sprayed it with a cactus gold and then I went over with a um, black uh, marker. I think I used Copic and then it became brown as you see. But I really like that so and also used uh, colored in the numbers here. And these spinners are Tim Holtz uh, spinners, game spinners and a bling in the middle. And I also put a flower down here and it's the S10 from I Am Roses. Another image here and this is glossy accent and some more pearls from Prima here and the little flowers and the cut out from the paper and um, here it says cinema and it's a film camera here and the film strip and some more leaf from Linda and flowers. And on the other side here, this bird cage I got from Linda and also from Velma. So thank you so much. I really love them. They're great. And I put some feathers here and some more flowers. Yeah. So we can start on the top here. I put a made a bow on the top here. And some more prima bling here. And the ticket says t uh, cinema and a uh, film strip from Tim Holtz. And this image I really love. It's so cute. And some feathers behind here. And this centerpiece here I got from Fiona. So thank you so much, Fiona. Really love that. And some flowers. And uh, here is a mirror that I got. I think I bought that on uh, Etsy. And there's some more Prima bling here. And uh, cut out lady from the paper line. And that is also glossy accent. And I think I took some uh, crackle accent also over that. And some more flowers here. And this is uh, R77 flower. A little ticket. Behind here is a little envelope that I can write a hidden message. And some feathers and a leaf here and a stick pin and yeah some more flowers here and uh, for the last side here some more cut out from the paper some feathers behind and uh, there's this curtain call here on this ticket and some uh, more feathers here and this uh, uh, flower is from uh, Prima and it, I think it's a Marion Smith flower. And the film strip here again. And uh, cut out from the paper again and some Prima bling here. And some more flowers here and a little stick pin here. And some skeleton, black skeleton leaves. I'm not sure if it shows up. So. Yeah, in the top here I also have some dangling keys and these are also from uh, Prima, Marion Smith. So, um, we'll put it down and I'm not sure if I told you but um, this is made in three parts. So I will take off the top, it's like so and it's a little dangling here and uh, I wanted it to look like a light pole. So, put that down. And here is a middle part, like so, covered with the paper inside. And here is a bottom part. I made a little fan inside here with a flower on. So, now I can show you the mini albums, and they are hidden under here. So, to make them stay in place, I placed the magnets like so under here and also under on the back side here. So 
So when the other one is under here with a dangling clock and it's also held by magnets inside. Like so. So I can show you the largest, or it's not so large, it's only 4x4, four four, but uh, I'll show you this first. So it opens with a velcro here, and for the first page here there are a couple of small tags, and I didn't have so much leftover paper so I had to use what I had, but uh, I had this gorgeous lady, I really love this image. So this is uh, both glossy accent and then crackle accent. I think when you take a crackle accent on first, uh, it can become red, like you see here. So then I take a glossy accent f first. Take a close up. So you see it's shining a bit red. So that helps. And it's also a place for a photo behind her here. And here is uh, a film <laughs> um, theme, and uh, here's a film camera, and cut this out, and all these are uh, glossy accent and crackle accent here. So it's a little booklet with a couple of tags inside, like so, just for some small photos. You can also place a photo here, so this goes behind like so. And here are some cut out from the paper again. So you can place a couple of photos here and a photo mat here. And uh, also this one. Uh, this is a Tim Holt uh, strip. Yeah. With some tags inside, like so. A little ticket here also. So you can also place something behind this film strip. So these stacks inside here, like so, and uh, for the next page, there are some tags behind here, and should be loose here, <laughs> and I can place a photo here. And I really love these peacock feathers here. So it says they are all sweeties. Goes behind like so. And here is a little envelope. I love those small envelopes. And here I didn't have enough of the papers, so I put on a strip here. So I can place a little note inside here. And another tag here. And um, here I put on this uh, was from the tag sheet and I just put it on with uh, some ribbon and a little tag behind just for photos. And um, here's an image and a man sitting and playing some instrument, a place for a photo and also um, this here. So. That was that album, and now for the small one, this slides off like so, and uh, it's a magnet inside here to hold it closed. So here is again film camera, and here is a couple of tags behind. Hmm. I don't get it properly in here, like so. And this slides behind this Eif Eiffel cut tower. I had to put that in here. And it's also held by ribbon. And a little heart behind this lady, like so, with the peacock feathers. And behind, like so, and that's another loose tag. So I can use it for photos. So, and as you see here, I didn't have enough of this paper, so I had to put the stripe down here. So, you can also always get enough if you just puzzle the pieces you have together. So, 
and here is uh, again flower from Aim Roses and some small tiny tags. And, uh, it's a place for photo here on the back. So this closes up inside like so. And this clock here, I really love that. I found that in um, Fiona's blog shop, no uh, Etsy store. Uh, really love it. It's, it's a working clock and it flips open like so. So I like to put uh, clocks in all my projects if I can. <laughs> so that was my project for today and I hope you like it. And uh, thank you so much for watching everyone and I wish you all a happy and a great week. Take care. Bye bye.